Hi YouTubers, back again with another little idea um, regarding photography. When we make our cards and our scrapbooking or whatever it is that we're creating, for the most part, well, actually all the time, these are one of the kind items that we're not hanging on to. It's not artwork that we're putting on our wall or framing. These are things that we are giving away to friends and family. So I'm sure a lot of us have gotten into photographing the things that we make and um, and that kind of thing. Uh, just here's an example. Oh, a couple of little cards that I made. My first little set of cards. So it's kind of neat. I think they're fun. And um, those actually didn't give to anybody because I was just fooling around. But I like to photograph my cards and I keep a folder on my laptop of the different things that I made. Now one thing that I'm doing to keep organized as far as photography goes, I use an iPhone. I think that's kind of why I've gotten into the the whole crafting thing to begin with, not because of the iPhone, but indirectly because I am a Gigasaurus gadget nerd ball like you can't believe. And when I first saw the Cricut, I'll show you my Cricuts. All right, this is my first little Cricut that I purchased on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, for a steal at Michael's. And lo and behold, I had mentioned the pink Cricut inadvertently to my mom, who is just wonderful. And she, oh, look at this, there it is. Mm, my baby, my pink Cricut. I'm actually not using it right now because I, when I first used it, I spilled embossing powder, an entire jar, all over the 12 by 12 mat. Even went to the store and got some stuff to remove the, the tacky stuff to try to clean it. But I haven't found anything to re-glue it with since that will work. And none of the local stores here where I live carry the 12 by 12 mats. I'm going to have to drive to another city where they have a Hobby Lobby, either that or get one over the mail. So fortunately, I can still use my other little Cricut here. It's my backup and it would be my portable one if I go home to visit my mom or up north to visit my dad. Well, the thing that I'm doing with my iPhone, 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 here we go, oh, iPhone, gotta have that in a video somehow, is that I'm photographing rubber stamps as I collect them. And I'm doing that because when you start to collect so many and you're in Michaels and you're shopping around and you see something, it's, it's really amazing how you keep kind of visually going back to something that you've purchased before. And oh, because you like it, of course. But, and then you wind up maybe purchasing it again because it's something you got months ago and you just didn't remember that you already have it, only you have to come home and have to return it. So here's my trick for photography. Uh, as you know, a lot of the rubber stamps, they have the clear piece of, um, clear sheet that goes for the, the image on the block so you can see what the stamp is. And that's shiny and you can even see in the video here that it's reflecting light as I tilt it. So it's very difficult for that same reason to use a flash with the camera because you'll get what's referred to as a hot spot or a bounce from the photography from the flash back and that shows in your photograph and distorts the image. So one thing that I use in one of my jobs, I work two jobs, it's insane, is for photography, I use, uh, let me just show you. I have a black mat. I actually did not take this from work in case anybody's wondering. I just happen to have this, um, <laughs> I don't even remember from where. I think it came with something and I cut it and thought, oh, I'll use it for this, this purpose. So let me show you here up against the wall. It's just a simple piece of um, black cloth, which this happens to be adhered to a piece of um, hard cardboard, which makes it convenient. You can go to any craft store, any fabric store, and buy a piece of black cloth. Black smooth velvet works perfectly. Actually, black velvet is the preferred material for this type of photography. So then I set my, my stamp here. I'm trying to do this so it won't reflect in the video and then put it under some nice lighting where it's not going to cast a glare and then I will go ahead and use the camera with the, the setting so that the flash is not on and then I take my picture. Then I'll go into my digital imaging software program and because I'm really particular about my work I'll go ahead and I will crop the image and then for the 
photographs on my iPhone, I have a category called rubber stamps. And it's really neat. I'm showing you this one because I love cat stamps. And um, isn't he cute? Oh, I just love this stamp. And when you color in the red heart and you use the glossy accents over the heart, it's just really cute. It just really makes it pop. It's really neat. So let me show you quickly on my iPhone. Um, let me see if this will show here. Just to give you the idea. Oh, okay. Okay, so I hit rubber stamps. And you can see them all pop up. I have no idea how well this is going to show or not. But see that? Here's a... Oh, I know this is getting a glare. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but see how I just swipe through, and when I'm in the store, I can just look at my stamps on the fly and know what I have. So I don't duplicate anything with my purchases. So I just think that's um, kind of a neat little technologically, technologically, technological, I don't want to say this, it's just a very savvy type of thing to do when it comes to technology because I'm kind of into that. So for me not to bring technology into my crafting, I couldn't even imagine it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tip. And as I think of more things to share, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm sure that I will be making more videos and eventually I'll have Boo Boo in one of my videos. I promise. All right. Thank you again. And um, any again, like always, any comments or suggestions, please, please post. Give me your ideas. Thanks again.